I just want to do a brief video um, just talking about um, cervical dystonia and Botox. Now, in my work and my studies and uh, my experience, uh, especially going through the condition myself, um, this is a condition that is uh, brought on by uh, multiple stresses or traumas layering over a period of time where eventually uh, the emotional stress is so great it has a physical impact on your body. So we have an emotional stress presenting as a physical issue, whether your head is turning this way or that way or that way or that way, it doesn't matter, okay? It's all an emotional stress presenting as a physical, okay? Now what we do is we go to the medical world um, to seek help, because that's what we do, isn't it? That, that's where we go when we're unwell. The medical world, unfortunately, um, do not openly understand these conditions. Uh, they will not um, discuss the, the psychological aspect of it. So therefore, they add another element. Um, so they will give you a medication uh, or offer you a medication or they will offer you uh, treatment via Botox. Uh, now, Botox is a toxin. Now, if there is a muscle that's become tense, uh, which the brain has created due to overload of stress, well, there's nothing wrong with that muscle. If indeed you were to have an MRI, apart from the normal wear and tear stuff that's there, uh, that's there with everybody, there's nothing wrong with your neck. Okay. Now what the medical world will do, will inject the poison, the Botox, into that muscle or a series of muscles to make those muscles or muscle go flaccid. Now what you've done is you've introduced another element. So not only is it an emotional presenting as a physical, we've now turned it into a physical too. That for me is a bit of a problem because now we're looking at two things. We're looking at uh, recovering from emotional stress overload and getting our muscles to work properly again because they're being made flaccid on purpose. Okay, so we have, I just want people to be aware that this condition is an emotional overload of some sort or another layering up over a period of time where eventually you go over the top of your tolerance. If you go and you have a physical treatment, then you're turning it into something different. What we must do is we must work on the psychological, the de-stressing, uh, working with the stresses that have happened in the past to enable you uh, and your brain to reset things going into the future. Okay, so Botox, it's offered by the medical profession because they don't know how to fix this, quite simple. Um, but we cannot fix this by uh, injecting or taking medication. Uh, we can relieve for a period of time, but like I've said, it adds another element. We've turned it from an emotional into an emotional and a physical. So that's two things you've got to work with now. Okay. I just want you to think about that, all right? I'm not asking you to do anything different. I just want you to think about it. We have to be aware of what we're doing. We have to be aware of why these conditions and how these conditions present so that you, the patient, um, can actually uh, channel yourself in the right direction with the right knowledge to be able to get yourself better again because that's the ultimate aim. Okay, good. If you've liked what I've said here, if you understand what I'm saying here, you can contact me on neildurhamstherapy at gmail.com or go to my website, uh, neildurhamstherapy.com. Okay, and then you can contact me via there. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now.